Right now I play soccer, and then I'll be playing basketball, and then lacrosse. <laughs> Ten-year-old Grace Mooney and her little brother Michael love being active. They each play three different sports through Baltimore County Rec programs. Michael says mm -hmm. soccer is his um, favorite. Because we do teamwork and we get a lot of goals. Monday through Thursday, one of the children are having practice from at least 6 to 7.30. So we'll come home from school. We will eat very, very quickly. We'll have a practice. We'll do homework. We'll shower, go to bed, and do it all again the next day. Plus, games on Saturdays. Sound familiar? If your kids play sports, you can relate, especially when it comes to the cost. I'd say that the biggest cost was shoes. These are for basketball. These are for soccer. What they had last year for baseball doesn't fit this year, or basketball or soccer, which are three different shoes. Um, we've had to change just uh, the handle of it the past two years because every year she grows. His bat, his glove, last year he grew out of his gloves. It's this, it's that, it's pictures, it's, you know, it's almost, it's crazy. Uh, there's a whole wide range. Barry Williams is the director of the Department of Recreation and Parks for Baltimore County. He says registration fees, which pay for refs and field time, can vary depending on location and sport. Some, he says, may include uniforms, others equipment. How much? Anywhere from $100 to $500 per sport. Some of the rec councils can afford to cover everything uh, because they live in the more affluent areas, and so parents just write a check. And some of the other areas, well, they have to depend upon sponsors, uh, fundraising, other ways to get fully equipped. Talk about sticker shock, whether it's football or sports like lacrosse, the equipment can really run you up, and that's why a lot of parents try to shop at places like Play It Again Sports where they could try to get a deal. A sport like lacrosse, because there is so much protection needed, you're, you're talking helmet, shoulder pads, arm pads, gloves, uh, stick. I mean, you're if you went all new, you you could spend anywhere minimum 250 probably up to easily $500. So we have goggles, both new and used. Derek Steele is a store manager at Play It Again Sports Still in Nottingham, where he's helped and equip and re-equip kids nope. for more than Still a decade. The, the cleat program is big. They can trade them for another used pair of cleats. It doesn't cost them a penny. A lot of the sports have become a little bit of an arms race. Who can have the better the better equipment gives you an edge, unfortunately, and uh, but you pay for that edge. It's a balancing act for families, but one the Moonies say they wouldn't have any other way. You know, they enjoy all three, and they're happy to do all three. Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News. Cute.